Synergy Aircraft, upcoming future aircraft. In 2010, John McGinney came up with the first design of the Synergy Aircraft. 12 years later, the aircraft is yet to be unveiled and is still a promise for the future. Did the developers make a promise prematurely or was it well calculated? Is it an ambiguous one? If it can be achieved, what then does it entail? In this video, we shall explore this genius invention. Kit planes are essentially homemade aircraft. These are planes that you can build from scratch. Wait, can you build an aircraft from your home? With all the parts with you and some knowledge of assembling, you can construct your customized plane. If you do not like the current design of the plane, well, here is your chance to show us what you got. It is, however, possible only if it is licensed in your country. Additionally, you cannot make a profit from your homemade plane as it would be a violation of someone else's patent rights. As early as 1910, the first homemade aircraft was constructed. Essentially later, these kit planes are everywhere and built by just anyone with knowledge. Are you considering building yours? Then maybe this video will be crucial for you. Let us explore the Synergy aircraft. The Synergy aircraft was first announced in 2011 during a symposium for electric aircraft. The aviation industry is so crazy about electric planes at the moment. The petrol and diesel planes are soon to be fully taken over by these electric planes. While this is another whole topic of discussion, we must note the fact that electric planes are a blessing to our environment. The Synergy aircraft, as we shall see, is a mind-blowing innovation. This aircraft was meant to be a future kit airplane. If and when it shall finally be released, the Synergy aircraft will be the most complex kit plane and also the most efficient. Unlike the kit aircraft we described above, the Synergy aircraft is made by a notable company, thus rendering it notable too. The aircraft engine, commonly known as the Aero engine, dates back to 1848 when the first steam engine was invented by John Strinchfellow. Shortly after, in 1903, Charlie Taylor came up with another design that was used by the Wright brothers to build the first Wright Flyer plane. The Aero engine has since evolved with new and better designs being produced. Now, engines are smaller and more powerful, with each succeeding development being greater. Plane engines, also gas turbines, propel the plane forward by great thrust, producing tremendous power. The five types of plane engines are turboprop engine, turbojet engine, turboshaft engine, turbofan engine, and ramjet engine. These engines are used differently each according to the specification of the designer. The Synergy aircraft was first designed to use the 200 HP or 149 kilowatt Delta Hawk V4 engine. This engine is so powerful as to produce more range per gallon of up to 20% to 30%. Why this much power in the engine? We are yet to discover the intentions of the designer of the plane. Planes are, in general, super fast, especially when compared to other means of transport. Speed is a big deal in airplanes, and any new design will always focus on outshining the other. Passenger planes are average, the fastest planes. This is probably because only passengers are impatient about getting to their destination. However, above and beyond the need for speed is the plane's comfort and efficiency. These, every company, constructing planes must take into consideration. Nothing beats a fast and comfortable plane. The Synergy aircraft is set to operate at a speed of 200 miles per hour with a range of 1,500 miles. It is set to be a five-seater, that is, four passengers and a pilot. To fly in this plane must be heavenly as it is small yet super fast. It is convenient for a family day out and is picture perfect. It has enough room, has a good view, and is comfortable to ride in. As if the speed is not enough, if the plane is to operate on diesel fuel, it will fly at 40 nautical miles per hour for a single gallon. Unbelievable, right? Yeah, that's it. The speed makes it possible for one to achieve their set goals considering that their time is kept well. The aircraft has an unusual dual box wing design improving its efficiency. This means that the plane can achieve high speeds by reducing the payloads. Besides, the dual box wings gives the plane stability and a fair appearance as the wings are placed on both sides. With these wings, the plane can reduce induced drag and stall resistance. The design and external appearance of any commodity is key to its market acceptance, which thus influences its sale. Planes are commodities for rich consumers and entrepreneurs. Just as cars can take shape progressively to impress the buyers, Planes too are designed with the consumer's taste and view. John McGinnis, the designer and owner of the Synergy aircraft is not only a tech genius, he also has good taste when it comes to design. 
The Synergy company is known for its spectacular designs spanning all its auto motors. Other products of Synergy Aviation are piston aircraft to turboprops and helicopters to jets whose designer is Mr. John himself. This, therefore, sets him on record as a super good designer. A generally oval shape, the Synergy aircraft has dual box wings on each side pointed. This gives it an appealing appearance that anyone will love. The aircraft has a short tail and its box wings act as the tail of the plane. With a white color with dark glasses, this aircraft is a real deal worth traveling in on vacation. It would be an attractive one especially if you were to use it for touring the coastal area. At the moment, this project is approved to proceed on and to be released at a future date. After its first announcement in 2010, Synergy Aircraft was projected to compete in a NASA slash cafe green flight challenge in 2011, but failed as it wasn't yet even started. Due to a delay in funding, the project was postponed and thus withdrawn from the competition. What followed after were attempts to collect funds for its running, and the efforts bore fruits when finally USD 95627 was collected. The developers later hinted that a flying proof of concept aircraft would be out by 2013, but did not as more delays were incurred. With the release date seemingly moving away and the hopes of many being disappointed over and over, it is almost impossible to estimate the release date of the Synergy aircraft. However, it is important to understand that the project is set to rock the aviation world. Besides, the Synergy Aviation Company is not trusted but also has a reputation for fulfilling its words of promise. The company was started in 2004 and is already a respectable entity in the entire industry, Glen Heavens. The manufacturer for Synergy Aviation is DBT Aero and together have put into the fielded fleet of designs. The Synergy aircraft is but a result of years of aircraft evolution. The aviation industry is an exponentially growing field, with most of the innovations drawn from the underlying problems faced. The idea of building an aircraft was first conceived when the speed of travel was a great problem. With the world opening up during the later years of the 18th century, there was a need for not only fast means but also one that had a wider range of travel. The world was experiencing wars at the time, and world leaders were at unease as they sought to outsmart their rivals with different inventions. Furthermore, the concept of aircraft was conceived during the period of the Great Industrial Revolution in America and the major parts of Europe. Today, planes are used for both traveling for war. The technology has greatly improved. Issues like speed are no longer a problem as now planes go around the world in a matter of hours. This journey usually took months and years when the only means were sea and water transport. Today, it is possible for one to have a personal aircraft, a thing that was not possible back then. For a vacation today, one can hire a private plane and fly to any part of the world. Of greatest amazement is how it is now possible to build your aircraft with the customization you need in a plane. That is all for our video today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. We would like to know your view in the comment section below. Is there a video you'd like us to do too? Let us know too in the comment section. Thank you and see you in the next video.